Good morning. Thanks for, thanks for being here this morning. Um, just an opening statement, I guess, on, on uh, glad to be back in Athens. Uh, it was a great trip. I want to thank everyone involved, uh, my staff, uh, uh, Jeremiah Covington, uh, Will. There's a lot, a lot that goes into that week zero game. Everyone knows. Uh, if you didn't, you, you certainly know now. But uh, um, uh, so, again, I tip my hat to the staff. Uh, thoughts on the game after watching a film? I know a lot, know a lot more than post games, of course. There's a lot of good, but uh, then, um, in, a, in a tight ball game on the road, just you can't have the turnovers. I mean, everybody knows that the the, the turnover before halftime and the momentum swing was was huge. And um, um, I can I'll just stop there on the on on that. It just can't it can't happen. Um, positives in the game, there are a lot. I mentioned uh, post game the depth that I think the defense the defensive line we played. I know double digit front seven guys. Um, that's that's very very encouraging, and you know after your graduation last year, you know Jack McCroy's gone, Kai's gone, you know uh, that was a big question mark, and I really like the talent pool that we have there. Really excited, um, and then um, the back end and on defense, I thought I did a good job. <clears throat> uh, played the deep ball well. Probably one of better Justin Burchett's better games. Uh, we didn't have Tory. Uh, he sh should. We'll talk about that probably here in a minute. We should be back here. Uh, at some point in time, Roman, I thought Roman played uh, one of his better games. So I, I talked about Roman going into the season. Great offseason, great spring. So a lot, a lot of positives there on defense. Uh, concerning thing on defense, I would say we, we didn't get credit with the sack. We got some pressures, got to hit on them or two. But we got to definitely um, um, do, do better in that, in that category as far as just number of sacks. Offensively, um, I mentioned the turnovers. A bright spot. I mean, O'Shawn Allison, CA, we're going to be a great duo for us, man. I really am excited. Uh, I mean, uh, O'Shawn had some really good runs in there. You haven't seen him in a couple, uh, two years, you know, since the potato bowl, maybe. And um, to see him get out there, he's worked so hard to get back. And um, he, he was smiling, having a good time. I thought CA had a, one of his better games. Uh, he's really came a long way in his pass protection. Uh, he was throwing it up in there. I'm very excited about about those two guys. And um, I thought solid up front. San Diego State's defense is what they're known for. They're front seven. Uh, they're violent. And um, for the most part, we did, did held up pretty good. Probably probably needed to sneak, sneak a few more runs in the game plan. You know, uh, but we were going in with thinking Curtis was going to be the guy. And we poured a lot of reps into Curtis because he missed all the spring. And um, it hasn't played since Ball State. So, um just i'll just say that like it is um and then sammy did sammy tyler walton he's he's i view him as like oshawn he's been he's been out he's two surgeries like oshawn had a great fall camp i couldn't be prouder of him uh he he played uh he and sammy really played too many snaps to be honest with you they played over 60. that's too many for a receiver and we, we, we've got to fix that and we've got a good enough talent pool in that room to make that happen and we've got to get that done as a staff but bright spot for sure uh did a good job on punt return so um a lot of a lot of positives and then i'll the last positive we, we just our guys never never quit and uh that's that's a staple here <clears throat> that's the standard and i thought coming out of halftime we we're going to be fine uh we, we had we had the uh we deferred got, got the ball and drove down there and, and then didn't, didn't get any points but the defense kept us in it. We knew it was going to be low scoring, and we knew we couldn't turn the ball over. We did. Probably the difference in the game. So as, um, that's kind of the recap of the game. You may, you may have a question or two, and then I'll, I'll quit talking on my long opening statement. But we are super excited about being at home and playing on the Frank. Uh, it's going to be a sold-out show, and we're looking forward to putting on a great show for our fans. And I and I and I am sorry, Eric. I, should, I was going to say something in one of the opening comments, but I knew you'd, you'd, you'd get me a question on it. So, but anyway, on on Curtis, uh, right now after getting back to Athens and getting uh, in front of our staff uh, yesterday, um, he's on schedule to to go this Saturday. You know, um, 
you know, precautionary. I mentioned, you know, he might need an x-ray is what I said. We had uh, several guys that, that did get x-rayed. Uh, Curtis did not have to get x-rayed. Um, nothing to do with his with his, his knee injury. Zero. Absolutely zero. Um, um, just he went down funny. Um, you know, so uh, Curtis wanted to go back in. Talking with our, our training staff, Matias. Hey, let's get back to Athens and, and go. It's 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 not serious, and we, we should be you know back to normal at the position. Okay. I guess, uh, coach, just um, talk a little bit. Obviously, what you saw from Curtis in those first couple drives that can you carry over into Saturday? Because obviously, you had a moving ball very yeah. efficient. Yeah, to be honest with you, I, you know, in wrestle contest, uh, I I mentioned that there'd probably be some rust, you know, and he hasn't played since Ball State, and and from what I saw, there wasn't a whole lot of rust, you know. I thought he got the ball on time, great anticipation, and took what the defense gave him. Um, so I, you know, he's, he's Curtis was doing Curtis things. So um, he'd like for the injury to, to the injury not that not to happen, but we just you know with coming off a leg injury, we just thought the best thing to do to be safe. And uh, we got through it. So um, his play is uh, he's player of the year for a reason. We were, we were excited with where he, he um, picked up after being out, and uh, we're going to build on it. Coach, you mentioned Tori Cross earlier. Just what he feels all through in the play. Can you get an update on him? Yeah, uh, I think both of them will be going full speed at practice. How much and, and the, uh, the number of reps we'll see. I would say right now both of them will be game time decisions, but they will practice with us. Uh, they're doing they're doing their kind of last go around uh, today, full speed, um, with the training staff, and then we get the, the the GPSs on them and check their all the data and and all those things as both of them have soft tissue things, um, and it'll be a you know uh, can to can can Tory cut and plant and make all the things he's got to do as a defensive back. And be 100, percent and Jacoby's got to be able to hit that hit that home run gear, you know. And so um, again, I, I anticipate it, but we're not going to throw him back in there unless we're 100 percent sure. Because if you have a setback, then you get then it's going to be another three weeks. And so you you then have you have waste this last this last three weeks would have been out the window. So we're going to be we're just going to be cautious uh, um, and and make sure that they're ready to go back in there and play at their top highest level. I mean, there was there was disappointment and hurt. I mean, they have um, they want to win every game, uh, but as a staff, you want to um, hey if, if the one at a time mentality is the the process of the words that I that I always I say, and I'm gonna I stand by, and and we prepared for this game. How do we do on at, you know when you at the, at the game at game time, and and we got to clean some things up. Uh, they, they were down. I told them the truth after the game. Told them the truth. Uh, just what I've I said in my opening statements, um, and um, they're going to respond. I, the leadership is there. Um, I'm excited with the with 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 uh, being at home. I think it, we'll learn from it. Um, every 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 week's a different entity. It's, it's you know we're on this new journey, and every week's going to present problems and um, adversity and those things. We got to handle them. I told them at halftime. Hey, everybody knows where we're at. Uh, everybody knows the the event. Okay, how are we going to respond? That E plus R equals O thing. You know, it's a self help book. Uh, the outcome. You know, and we all we all know the events that happened in the first half, and how are we going to respond is going to determine the outcome. And we almost pulled it off. Um, we had the ball, you know, thrown in the, in the end zone at the end, and just couldn't get it done. And that would have been a. It would have been a heck of a comeback with the turnovers and we just couldn't do it so i, I I'm, I'm confident in our leadership and um we're gonna correct the mistakes today and move on to, to long island looking ahead to saturday with long island um uh, an fbs opponent um obviously in two case each game has a win is on its face value but does it almost feel like a breath for you guys you guys can obviously get ready um, to take some breath so 
Uh, that would be no. Um, I, I mean, you've been around long enough to, to understand uh, uh, the, these type of games. Um, you know, the last couple in particular. You can go. You can go to Rhode Island. I can. I can. I can give you a list of them. Uh, they have been uh, very um, tough games, and we have to got to play our best. It's. It's. And the, and the the stats will show that. So on on Long Island in particular, um, you know, they made a quarterback change late. I think they won their last four. And I, I mean, he's very capable. Creates with his feet. Um, they're going to be. They're going to present problems. Uh, I'm just glad we're at home. And looking forward to um, taking them one at a time. Any more questions? Coach, I got one for you. Um, San Diego State's probably going to be one of the best, if not the best, defenses that you face all year. Um, can you take any, anything from your performance against their defense offensively, even with the Nick Steve and Curtis going down? Uh, again, I think I'm really um, happy with. Um, how we handled the environment. They, they are multiple looks and multiple in the, in the secondary. Receivers did some really good things versus some tight coverage. Okay. Uh, I'm happy with the tight ends. You know, Will Kaczmarek had a nice game. Tyler Foster played tough. But he got hurt to build up the second, second play of the game. He's one of the guys that got x-rayed. Uh, we'll see on him. But, but I think I think the, the skill guys and what they went through versus that defense and then uh, the office office line facing those guys, uh, multiple pressures, and uh, they got to us a couple times, but that's how they make their living. And so I think that's gonna that'll help us um, uh, springboard us as we get going. I, I know, and as far as them being that best defense, we'll see. I mean, we got some there's some good ones on our schedule, but uh, it was it was for sure a good test um, uh, this early in the season, and really going against our defense in the spring really really helped us. His defense is multiple, and uh, we took full advantage of, 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 of our defense and doing a lot of good on good. I think that, that helped us uh, probably more than anything against the San Diego State.